Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to John's Garage Shores and Opener Tutorials. By the way, the word tutorials replaced the word service on the on it. I can't change it to tutorials. It's not a service channel, but it's a tutorial, review, safety channel, or however you want to call it. So today we're going to be reviewing the GD Pro Max 1/3 horsepower chain drive garage opener. Yes, it's a full chain drive. It's got the um, one-piece rail with the trolley. Yep, it's on a high left door. As you can see, I don't know what kind of door this is. Could be a way dot door. And as you can see, the trolley up here, which I did this on the flight star earlier, flight star earlier, which I'll upload soon. It has that same setup. So if you want to disconnect temporarily, which is kind of hard to do on this door, see it's disconnected. But but if you want to disconnect it, if you have a highlight, you really you gotta try to pull the rope back a little bit so it. Slides from the inner trolley, so you can see it's disconnected. It's a little bit harder to do on the Pro Max if you have this kind of door. You can see this door is fairly balanced. So to reconnect it, you just go over and hit the button. But if you but if you want to have it, if you want to have it disconnect so the motor doesn't reconnect it, you want to have it in this position or this position so the motor doesn't so that so that so this trolley here doesn't allow the other trolley. But if you want to get it back to the reconnected position, just put it in that middle position. So enough talk. Let's run this motor. And by the way, here's the um, GD wall control, the typical GD and telecode wall control. As you can see here, we got the lights. Here we got the door control. By the way, this is the lock feature. I did this on the flights earlier, but so if you turn if you turn all the lock features off, the lights or the the lights or the motor doesn't work. This the lock feature basically locks up everything, even the remote, even the remote. So let's let's run this thing. Had to engage, so I had this. As you can see, it's not very loud at all, actually. I would say it's not very loud, but it strains a little bit. Might be lubricated, or or might have a bad gear. But who knows? We'll get an outside shot. Oh, by the way, here's the remote. Here, we'll go, we'll go into... As you can see, it's the same remote that I have on the screwdriver. Except it's a Type 1, as you can see. Nothing too special. This The black and telecode remotes are, the, are one of my least favorites. But we replaced the house remote with the Chamberlain click clicker remote. All right, we're on the outside. We'll close it. It's pretty smooth, actually. And by the way, here's the um, keypad. I don't know the codes to this, but as you can see your GD keypad works with pretty much any GD motor with the Intel codes or the um, preset versions. All right, we'll open this back up. This road actually doesn't work too bad. It doesn't work as bad as my as the ones that we had. I think it has a better circuit board, so we bought, or this thing might have a better radio control. Doesn't work too bad. It kind of squeaks a little bit. Maybe it's I don't know if it's the motor or the door, but it kind of squeaks. Oh shit! My phone's off. I said. And by the way, same with the screwdriver. If you block the safety sensor with, and you try doing it through remote, nothing happens. If you do it with the wall button, see, it just does the same thing. So you hit it. Just goes down. Hit it again. But if you hold it, it'll go down. Any motor that requires safety sensors, you gotta have the safety sensors in order for the door to close. So yeah. All right, so we'll run this down using the um, remote, and then we'll then then I'll show you something here. I really hate the interior of the store.
She can hear it whenever it goes down, it goes that. Don't know why it's doing that. Only has one spring. It'll turn off that light. As you can see, all you hold is one spring. It's very, the spring is awful tiny. I wonder if it's the spring making that noise. As you can see, look at that. It almost looks like that spring is about to break. It could be the spring making that noise. And by the way, never have your safety sensors mounted to that point of the point of the door. Always mounted by the bottom. That's a little bit strange. As you can see on the um, screwdriver versions of the Intel code, since this is a Chrome, actually you can see all the all the um, stuff is in the back, of course, controls, adjustments, and then you got the uh, alert button. So yeah. I thought that's pretty cool. By the way, the lock feature of the remote doesn't work. And the lights don't even work either. By the way, we'll, we'll run this without the door. All right, door's disconnected. You can see the motor itself is actually pretty quiet on this, actually. It's not a loud machine at all, but when it's straight, it is, but it's quieter, quieter than the um, screwdriver. So yeah, but that's pretty cool. Here, we'll reconnect this back up, and we'll do one more run, all right. Watch this. You can see, it's not a very loud opener. It's, it kind of has a humming sound to it, but the thing that's loud is the chain, which is a little bit loose. All right, we'll do one last run with the door. We'll put the, we had to put this remote back to the car. You can see it's a pretty good view from the slam hood. It's kind of kind of ran out here too, so that's why we're putting this remote back. Let's put this back in here. You can see we got the Ford Explorer. And by the way, I don't know why my channel says service. It's not a service channel. It's just a, for safety features and just being a garage door genius. Reviewing motors and just showing you all how to fix issues. Alright, so we'll go in here and we'll close it and that'll be the end. We'll also do a daytime shot of this thing. All right, we'll close this thing down. I don't know what's making that noise. It could be the spring whenever, you, whenever it gets all the way down. It's like, all right, so that'll be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check back soon for more videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.